Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we'll be looking at this um, Dragon Momoko Strike Freedom Manual in my, I would call it a series like things you should take note of when you're building this kit so yeah, um, and by the way I have something to say at the end of the video so um, stay tuned to that so nonetheless let's just move on so yeah actually here um, the head I do not have much problem yeah the head actually have no problem but um, the things that I want I need you to take note of is um, this part here um, the B B40 here um, when you are cutting out this um, this B40 is actually a gold piece so when you cut out right um, try to not use too much strength or it will break very easily like uh, mine uh, this part here let me just focus uh, my head here uh, around here it's already broken I'm not sure you guys can see like the brick sign here yeah I've used a glue to stick back so that's one part that you should take note of and then now we move on to the body let me just focus again now we're moving on to the body um, there's nothing much um, the body here but then yeah here there's no problem um yeah this part this joint this joint here that's connecting the head um, you would need to send the top part here the connector to the head as mine it couldn't really fit at all have to you have to really send it a lot in order to fit either that or you need to expand the poly caps for the um, strike freedom head so yeah and next here um, this piece this um, M25 piece sort of, um, sort of like the I would say his collar um, I had a difficult time as well so what I would recommend is you guys to send down the bottom part there that you will be connecting into the body here so I would send the bot I would recommend you to send it down the bottom there to make it better so yeah other than that um, there's not much problem so now let's move on to the following page um, okay yeah um, this part here this um, gold color this part over here at the middle section of the body um, you it, when you first fix it um, mine was very loose uh, I'm not sure if you will encounter that but if you do do not worry because once you fix on to the body the main body you need here then after that it will be fine because there's actually uh, for me what I've noticed is once you push it inside right once you have completely built the full body once you push inside on this gold color piece there's actually a click sound and yeah it's really secured after that so yeah nothing to worry about that and then after that I have no problem further on so yeah now we'll move on to the following menu page um next the shield here again that's not much problem but the i would recommend you guys to send the pack here let me just bring up and show you guys the pack over here the circle there i circle a small part there yeah those basically those parts that um the long part and then connected to the hole there Okay, this this looks very wrong, but what I'm trying to say is that there's two there's always two parts to the kit. So one is the pointy, and then the other one is the hole. So the pointy part, um, I recommend most of the set, the pointy part, right? Just send it down, not too much, but just um send it down that is thin enough to fit into the hole, or else you will have a really difficult time to fix it. And then next year, um, this Q211. This piece that will be mounted onto the shield. Um, I wouldn't recommend if this part here, you guys um, cannot force it into the shield. I would recommend you guys to force it in because later on, when you want to put on the shield effect part, right, um, you guys will need to remove this. As for me, um, it proved to be very difficult and I needed to use um, the, the knife over here to take it out. And then there's a few scratches on the shield already. So, yeah, that's the thing that, um, that's the thing I just want to warn you guys. Or either that you can just send it down more so yeah it will be easier for you to take it out and then next year this 
the B26 here, this small little gold piece. It's very loose, so yeah, you might as well just um, use your super glue and just stick it. So yeah, um, other than that, uh, yeah, not much issue. And then yeah, this right here. Before that, this Q2 is another different piece. So yeah, I, I will ask you guys to be a little bit more careful. And then now upon the legs, okay, yeah. Although Dragon Momoko did improve on the legs, but then there are a couple of issues that I have came across as well. So I will let you guys know. Um, apart from I, I was watching as you hear this, I rem okay maybe this part, this connector part, um, where it will be connecting the leg, the whole leg, and the bottom of the feet. This part here, um, you always need to send send it down. The two connector connecting the two piece. But either that, if you if you don't do that right, the next solution for you is to just since you cannot fit, just use something to whack it, what and then make it both of the part connect close to each other. So yeah, that's like the, one of the viable solution that I would suggest to you. Okay, now this part here, this part here. Oh my god. Um, here as well. Um, this bottom piece here. You need to set it down as well. It, I, it proved very difficult for me. I I need to literally use something to just hold up and just keep on whacking it to put inside the poly cap. So I'm not really sure whether is this the this piece problem or is it the poly cap problem. As you guys know, if you build enough bootleg kits, you should realize that poly caps are the sort of like a main issue. So yeah, and then and then and then okay. Um, where did they install the polycap? Let me take. Let me just take a look. Um, um, it was five seven. Okay. Uh, what I'm trying to show you guys is that this piece here, when you put on the polycap, um, okay, you guys can't really see it. You see this part there. There's a polycap, right? Um. This part, then you will connect it, this H and H. Once this um the, this poly cap, please set it down as thin as possible. Or else you will risk breaking it, because um. You see this part here, right? Let me just focus properly. This part here, before you put the poly cap, you must set it down as well. Because mine, once I push the poly cap, it proved to be too tight. So, when I move up to this point here, when I try to connect these two pieces, because the poly cap was um, facing a little bit uh, higher, so when I try to push it down a bit, it, the thing just snapped. Le legit just snapped. So, yeah, so basically, in the end, what I do is I just glue these two pieces together. So, basically, um, this piece and this piece for me is basically super loose. So yeah, these are the parts, the legs you need to be more careful. So let me just focus again. Um, there's actually one part that I want to talk about. I couldn't remember where is it, but yeah, if I can recall, then I will come back. But now here, um, the wings actually have no issue at all. The wings, it's uh, really well made. So you don't really need to worry about anything. And then the gun here, there's no issue as well. The gun is also very well, um, very just normal procedure. Um, okay, the only thing that I would want you guys to take note of is the um, where is it? Yeah, the handle here. Oh, sorry, you guys cannot see. Um, the handle over here. Um, this connector, where is it? Okay, this part here. When you see it, right, this is the part that I was talking, the sticking out that piece. Um, you will need to set it down just a little bit because or else it will be very hard fitting. And then the next thing is this this part here as well. The hole, I recommend you guys just um, use the knife to just um, make it just just a little bit bigger. Then yeah, it's good to go. Other than that, not, not much issue really on the weapons. And then here... Next on the wings, okay, yeah, actually, I think if I'm not mistaken, the wings is the one that, um, one very tricky part, let me just take a look, I think the, 
the part there is re relatively simple let me okay yeah 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 um uh, i remember already okay wait is it this okay yeah um this uh c18 right the gold piece uh there's actually two c plates uh what i want to say is um c1 there's c18 here and then there's another c18 here so don't get mistaken not two c18 in one piece so yeah is is that what i was trying to say but i think that that's one of the things that i want you guys to think of is that the c plates um is not the same and then yeah this c17 as well there's two c1s there's two c1 so you must really take a um, good look at it because um i actually messed up then one of my strike freedom the thrusters is actually not there the gold color piece so yeah um then that's basically the end then where is there's one there's one more part i needed you guys to take note of let me see if i can recall it's actually it's actually this part i'm sorry let me just pause a while okay now i'm back i think i recall the part that i wanted you guys to take note of is this part here the c15 this is the go part again yeah take note that take note where you fix in it's um different piece because um yeah uh, i again i messed it up and there's actually two wings on my strike freedom that do not have it so yeah that's the end sort of like things that you should take note of when you're building this dragon momoko strike freedom kit and yeah um now come to the part that i wanted to talk about at the beginning of the video is that guys i don't think i can um, do this review in full because let me just show you the condition of my strike freedom let me just hold up here this is the condition of my strike freedom as you guys can see the hand it's gone and then the head it's bad and then let's say i'm the missing missing the gold pieces over at the wings it's gone and then yeah basically it's uh, really a malfunction mobile suit as of right now so yeah let me know if you guys want to see still see the articulation otherwise right the next part after this video is uploaded is will be the wings because for me the wings that only have problem for me is the go part that I was missing which not doesn't really do much things about it but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that the review would be I don't think I'll be doing it because so many things are missing and yeah but then the wings um what I'll do to show you guys is that I want to put on the effect part that it comes with the 3D effect part rather than the paper effect part so yeah basically that's it i just want to let you guys know that um sorry to say that the review i don't think will be coming but if you guys still want me to talk about like the basic aesthetic of the kit yeah just let me know down below in the comment then i will do it a simple and quick one otherwise then i'll just do on the wings because mainly that's the things that i think most people would like to see so yeah anyway i hope you guys find um this uh, information sort of like an information video informative and yeah and as always if you guys have enjoyed the video please don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to me if you haven't subscribed to me yet and yeah nonetheless i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys very soon in my next gunpla video